Hey guys, welcome back. This is the third video for week two's packet, but you're probably going to be watching it on Monday of week three. Today we're going to walk through pre-writing and getting ready, planning our first argumentative essay. So take a look at the page, how to write an argument, an effective argumentative essay from your packet. The steps for preparing your essay are going to be a lot like the steps we took preparing our rhetorical analysis essay. Let's take a look together. First, you're going to pick a topic. The next page in your packet is your list of pre-approved um, options. You're going to pick a side. Be clear about whether you are for or against. You're going to think of three reasons that support your side of the argument. And then you're going to think through the counterclaim, the, what the opposing viewpoint would say in response to this, arc, this debatable topic, okay? For the essay, paragraph number one will be our introduction. We're going to begin with a hook, something to grab your reader's attention. Now, this handout mentions an anecdote or a story that could get really long-winded. So you don't have to tell an entire long story, but you can give us a one or two sentence um, uh, example of why this is important or why you take the stance that you take. When I do my example writing, I think that's going to help clarify that. So just hang on for that. Then you're going to make your thesis statement. Sound familiar? We did this last week. Your thesis statement is going to include your claim, either for or against the, the statement. And then it's also going to include your three reasons, but just briefly touch on your reasons. Okay, each of the next paragraphs, this is going to be a five paragraph essay, introduction, three supporting paragraphs, and then a conclusion. So paragraph number two in your essay will be reason number one. Your next reason takes up the third paragraph and your third and final reason takes up your fourth paragraph. What that means is that each of those paragraphs needs to stand complete as an idea. Remember, a paragraph is a group of sentences that are cohesive because they're about one main idea. So the opening sentence of the paragraph will state the reason, and the next few sentences will back it up, give your evidence, give your um, opinion, give your details that make, make a fuller argument on your side of things. Then for the paragraph uh, number five, your conclusion, you're going to restate your thesis with that claim and those three reasons. You're going to try to change it up and use slightly different wording so it's not an exact replica of your introduction. One thing we're going to skip when we do our essay is you are not going to be required to have a call to action. But this is helpful because when you do assignments for other teachers at some point, they might want you to do that. So this way you have some idea of where that belongs and what that would, would look and sound like. Now, turn to your pre-writing page with me, and I'm going to do pre-writing for an example essay just to give you an idea of what this process is going to look like when you do your assignment. Let's look at our Plan Your Argument page. I'm going to walk through planning an argument essay for a topic that isn't one of your options on your sheet. So you won't be able to copy my exact um, answers and responses, but you will be able to use the same process that I use, okay? My topic is, should schools offer cash bonuses to students for good test scores? This has actually been suggested in some places as a way to reward students for doing well on those end of year standardized tests. Question one is, what claim will you make? What's your opinion, for or against? I'm going to argue that schools should not offer cash bonuses to students who have good test scores. I'm taking the um, negative viewpoint. And now I need three reasons. So the first reason I've decided to write about would be schools are already facing difficult budget situations and do not have the funds to reward their students with cash. Now, what evidence or details will I provide? When you do your uh, pre-writing, you do not have to do research for 
factual evidence. You do not have to use in-text in citations or quotes from anything. You can just use your opinion and explain your reason with a few more sentences in that paragraph. I did a little bit of research. I'm gonna show you how that higher level essay writing would go when I turn this pre-writing into a real essay. So my supporting detail is if schools gave kids money, they would have to cut other programs. And I found a report from March of 2019 that gives some supporting evidence and a quotation from a school, I believe it's a school administrator, that I'll be able to um, use a quotation like we did in yesterday's homework. All right, my second piece of reasoning, my second evidence, is that students will not develop as strong of a work ethic if they are paid for their test scores. I think that if we paid kids, then they wouldn't end up developing a good internal guide that tells them to work hard. You know, we at our school are able to encourage you guys to work at everything as working for the Lord and not for men. But in schools across the country, teachers and administrators aren't allowed to say that. They have to encourage students to do their best simply because they, they want to and they have an internal motivation to do that. So my argument is gonna be that some studies show that money rewards, monetary rewards, actually demotivate. It takes away people's individual enjoyment, curiosity, or a love of learning as the factors that make them work hard at something. Then my third, well, my fourth paragraph, because I'll have an introduction, paragraph number two, paragraph number three, paragraph number four will be that a policy of paying for high test scores would promote cheating. And I'll explain that and back that up by giving, um, got my post-it note in the way, by giving support that I think students might be so um, money hungry that they would take an any means necessary approach to earning that money, even if it involved um, being unethical and cheating. Now, what counterclaim or opposing viewpoint will I address? Well, if I'm gonna argue that schools should not offer cash, I need to think of something a person would say if they thought that schools should offer cash. Schools should offer cash bonuses to students for high test scores because in the real world, people earn money for their work. I can see how someone would argue that because when adults enter into the workforce, when they go into their chosen career, they are rewarded with money for the work they do. Therefore, we should pay our students money for the work they do to teach them about the real world. Even if I don't agree with it, I can understand the argument for it. Does that make sense? Now, now let's turn to the pick your argument page. For your argumentative essay, you're gonna choose one of these following topics. Uh, should school uniforms be required? Can graffiti ever be considered art? Should children have restricted amounts of screen time? Should schools replace textbooks with digital editions? And I am really curious if any of you might have had a different opinion on that a few weeks ago than you do now, considering all this non-traditional instruction time we're having. And uh, is it important to keep your room clean? So, for today's homework assignment, which you'll need to submit by Tuesday, the 21st, you're going to choose one topic from the pick your argument sheet, and then you're going to fill out and complete the plan your argument sheet, just like I did, and this is what you'll submit. You can reach me by text or by email if you have any questions about this part of the planning process for pre-writing, and I'll see you guys next time.